Hello all. Good morning, good evening or good afternoon. So, as I told you yesterday, I'm back into the community and I'm just whenever I get some time, I get in there, try to see what kind of questions are there and try to see if there's a quick question that I can help the community with. So, today when I went there, I saw a question. And this question was about the report field captions. Now in this particular video, we'll talk about what are the different ways that you can do field captions in a report, which is text constant, labels, and include captions, and how to use these different options, and then which one to use in Business Central report. Now based on your requirement, you might need all three of them, one of them, but knowing how to use them is important and how they impact your report performance is a key factor of which option you use to display captions. So without wasting further time, let's get into it. So I already have an extension here and let me add a report with the using AZAL tool. So this is not a report video or this is a report video, whatever you want to call it. Let's build a report called SDH uh, report headers. Okay. And let's build it on item table. Just to keep it simple. We'll put this under report analysis. And then let's pick some field. So let's do number. Let's do description and description too. And let's do some decimal field unit cost and unit price okay sounds fair now here are my fields and then there is a request page section which is not required for me so i'll remove it and this is one of the nice features that i like about AL that whatever you don't need just remove that because i don't need it remove it this is not available in nav back then okay but we are not in nav so let's continue so now if I have to um, generate a layout for this report, what I have to do is I have to set a property called RDLC layout, and then I have to specify a path where this file will be saved. Okay. And let's do uh, SDH report header dot RDLC. Okay, done. Now, as soon as I do build, and I don't know where that command is, but the shortcut is Control Shift B, B as Bombay. Once you do that, the Control Shift B, what happens? You will notice that there is a RDL file added, and it also added an extension file. What you'll do? You'll open the RDLC file, open externally. That'll open it into Microsoft Report Builder, where you can now going to build the design of this report now this is formation of the data set this video is not about report as i said so we'll get in here and we'll try to understand what's happening so as soon as we did the build report by specifying the rdlc property onto my report whatever items were available in my data set or whatever fields were available in my data set automatically gets attached here with this caption number description description to unit cost unit price and you can see them here now let's quickly try to build a list report and then we'll see about the headers so i'll use the wizard there should be a table wizard and i should be able to directly choose all these fields that i need and then just drag them here okay okay and finish okay so now when you do this what happens is in your header section this is the first section called header you see that these are your fixed text no and then description and so on and so forth which is okay if you are okay with it but in some cases you might want to type something else which you can control from a code perspective and that's where this video comes into the picture so what do you do we close this okay 
and now let's talk about all three of them the first one is using the text constant so let's try doing this okay here if I come in my variable section and define my let's say a text constant for unit price okay caption so what I'll do is I'll say unit price caption and then I'll define it as table or text constant whatever you need and then say that it is unit price okay it went a little bit far the AI or the copilot so I'll just remove this okay now to make this available in my RDLC what I'll have to do is I'll also have to add a column <coughs> And then make this as available in my RDLC. What happens with this? As we saw for the other fields, <coughs> this field will also be available in my layout file, in my data set. Now let's look at the other option and the other option is labels. And we need to understand the difference between all three of them. So before we move further, as in this is pretty obvious let's do a control shift p open the rdlc file <coughs> and we'll see where this kind of field get placed in my design when i open my data set i see that there is a unit price cap which is available which is coming from this field okay let's talk about the other option which is a very interesting option which is called labels I this has been there in any 2015 or higher or 2013 or higher 2013 or higher so you can use that in any also if you are still on any which I doubt you should not be but let's try to create a label for unit cost and we'll call it as label and then I can just as anything I can give it as unit cost okay what happens with that? Do I need to add it here? I doubt that I can even add it here, but let me try. Okay, in the same way, and I do this. And what is the error message that I'm getting? That you cannot define something which is not here. Okay, so let's remove this. So, where is it going to sit in my layout? So, let's build it and open the RDLC file. <coughs> and see where this unit cost LBL sits not unit price we are looking at the unit cost so it's not here okay not here and actually it's in the parameters you see that there is a unit cost LBL so for the unit price cap what I can do as I'm making these changes instead of this fixed test I can say okay this value is coming from the data set which is this for the unit cost I can just drag it from here and do it here if it has not been gone let me see yeah this kind of went a little bit trickier so let me clear this <coughs> and paste it here okay the difference between these two is both of them are controlled here the only difference is this we needed to add in data set and this automatically came into my parameter section okay there is one more option left which is include caption in case of include caption and because i have done this i'll just make this smaller okay in the include caption what happens is you specify use of a property called include caption on the field like I've done here <coughs> and I'll just repeat it for all the three fields which are remaining okay what happens in this case is whenever this report is ran the system goes into the source table from where that field is added and from there it looks for the caption property and if it finds a caption it just it will find the caption it then gets appended here into your report design but that is not I'm interested in I'm interested in where this guy sits in my RDLC so I do a control shift B 
get into it here let's try to open this layout and see where these include captions are sitting under data set no i don't see them under parameters yes i see them so i see a parameter created for the number field where i did include caption the description field and the description to field okay now what is the difference or why i should be using an include caption versus a label because both are the same thing if you are using label that gives you flexibility of utilizing a custom text on the header part of it and it's still part of the parameters in your report layout if you do include caption if there is an upgrade from microsoft where they change or in your extension if you change the caption property of a field on the table that value will be changed when the report is ran now let's understand it from the perspective of performance or from the perspective of the report that you are running and for that we'll have to run this report so let me just go ahead and in my launch.json change this to be report okay make sure my business handle is running yep okay so let's do a publish of this and we'll understand the difference between using a variable versus a label or include caption to understand how this a small change can impact the performance of your report because this is just a sample but now think it from a large scale perspective there can be thousands of fields that you need uh, a caption on in your report choosing the right way impacts the performance of it because now let's see what happens okay i'm on this report i can run it for sure this is surely a pretty bad example to see as an output but what i'm interested in is to see the excel data only i chose the option to see the excel uh, document with the data only which gives me the dump or the data from the data set that will be used to generate the output of my report so this is the data that is coming based on whatever al code you have written for your report whatever relationship you have with your different data item if there are multiple data item and how that will be given to the rdlc layout to get plugged in now if you look at this there is number which is changing every time description which is also changing every time if there's a value on description too i'll also change unit cost unit price and then there is a unit price cap now notice this column this is similar throughout the report for all the records that this report have and it's technically if you ask me at this perspective at this point it is just a fixed text or a fixed value that is getting attached the performance of your report is directly dependent on the size of your data data set not just the number of columns but also surely the number of rows right there are more records in a table that you are trying to process it will slow down but if there are more number of columns that will also impact your performance so do i need this extra column i don't if i have 20 of these in my report pretty bad if i have hundreds of them so bad so make sure that while choosing which header option you're going to use in your report that'll surely impact the performance of your report but now let's try running this and let's see what happens this time we'll try to preview this and you'll notice the system automatically for the first three fields gets the caption from whatever is attached on the table the fourth one is coming from the label section that we have added into the report and this is coming from the text constant which we just saw in the data set is consuming one extra column in my data set now coming back to our understanding of it my understanding of it use include caption when you would like to rely on the caption of the source table 
to get the caption of the field in your report. Use labels if you have to use a changed text for the field caption and then utilize it. Only use text constant if there is a value that's getting appended. And there are good examples of it. If you are running a report where in certain situation you need the value to be changed as your writing code, that you cannot do via labels or include caption. For those kind of situation, you will have to stick to the text constant. And I can give you an example before we leave. So let's get into it here and see a base Microsoft report. Let's say hopefully invoice report I will have it. Some examples of it. Uh, let's get into reports and let's pick any report. Not standard. Oh, okay, this one. This is a North American version. You might not see it in your database if you are using a different localization, but you will some way or other will have a invoice report. Now, if you look at this report, Microsoft is not utilizing any labels. But when you come down here into the global variable section, you'll notice a bunch of text constant or labels. Now these are fixed text, which should have been replaced by the labels so that they are not required. But additionally, if you notice here, there will be some labels like this, where it says amount subject to sales tax caption, where the label is amount subject to sales tax, percentage one now this percentage one is dynamic based on the report code it changes right and for those kind of scenarios use the text constant option if you only want a fixed text then use labels if you would like to rely on the caption that is assigned on the table field then use include caption because labels and include captions will surely impact the performance of your report in comparison of using the text constant. Now, hopefully I was able to help the person who had this question in the community. And if you are still watching it, maybe I was able to teach you something new. today. If you have any further questions on any other topics, add them into the comment section. And you know the drill. If you like the content, hit the like button. If you think this is something that my fellow colleagues or my fellow community members should know who work in business central domain share this video on your social media so that people learn from it and if you haven't do subscribe to the channel because there is a lot of content that's coming in this year i'm already on a streak for april but we'll continue doing that as much as i have my time till then keep learning and keep sharing your knowledge with other community members so that we make this community as the best community in the world I'll see you sooner than later with the next video. Till then, have a good day and see you later.